Oh, look, it's a much of a muchness, I suppose. You know, the, we probably had most of the play. I think the second half, Fremantle probably dominated the first half. So it was a game of two halves. It was one of those battles that could have quite easily gone either way. You know, you just got to take, make the most of your opportunities when you control the ball and phases of play. And we didn't do that at various stages, and Fremantle did. So yeah, it was one of those games we certainly look back and rue the opportunity, really, to hit the front and then to lose is disappointing. You won a close one in round one, but you had four record in close ones last year. Why do you think you, you lose? So much? I don't know, mate. In the day, it's got nothing to do with it. It's a tough battle. They're a top potential top four side. You know, we're, we're battling to get that. We come over here. It's a close game. You know, one of those games that you, you look at, it's an arm wrestle the whole way. So you just got to make the most of the opportunity to have a defensive 50 stoppage with, what was it, a minute to go. You know, the ball could have quite easily bounced through for a point. We're four points up. Ball hits a post, get another secondary stoppage, they kick a goal. It's got to make your own luck sometimes. We didn't take the most of our chances tonight. What did you make of Matt White's show on goal? Oh. <laughs> We've got this fantastic thing called a review system, haven't we? Fair dinkum. You guys are right about that. I know it went through for a goal. You, you didn't cross the line. It crossed the line. Have you seen the replay? Yeah. Maybe we should have caught a review, you would have thought. No? Seriously, in a tight game. In a tight game. Joke. Do you think there should be a system in place? There is a system in there is a system in place, mate. There is a system in place. Use it. Or don't bother. Well, no, at the end of the day, there's a field umpire, there's a goal umpire, and there's four or five blokes sitting up in a box upstairs. Someone make a decision. Oh, listen, that's a positional thing. The, the umpire coaches take care of that. You know, the reality is they're taught how they're, they're taught, so... Mm. Yeah, he was good. He probably you know, it was a little bit disappointing last week. I thought, you know, tonight he, he took his chances, which was was great. Um, you know, he's still got some area of his great game that we'd like to get a little bit better. He's contested ball at stages, but you know, it was good to see him take a step forward and you know play well, which is good. Yeah, Ty was I thought very very good. You know, probably one of the better players on the ground tonight, and you know he's been thereabouts. He's probably just hasn't had. Um, you know, opportunities presented to him at stages has been open, so it was good to see him take some really strong marks and, and get rewarded with some scoreboard too. Uh, well, Brett went, then went to uh, to Monday, so look, at the end of the day, I don't think Monday had a great influence and, and probably Leeds didn't have a, a massive influence either, so, you know, we they take out one of our good players, we think we took out one of theirs, so it was probably a, you know, 50-50 battle. No, I think he hyperextended his knee. I think it's okay though. So we, I think he played. He came up, came back on and played on. So he'll be fine. In terms of the late change, yeah, he got a um, pretty heavy knock to his back last week in the probably the last couple of minutes of the game. And you know we thought we'd try and get him up, but he flew over. He trained yesterday, but it blew up again. So look, he'll be fine for next week. It was just one of those things. We've got to, you know, a, a fit Matthew White, Robin Nahas. Let's play him instead of a, a guy that's probably going at seventy five percent. So. Uh, we decided to give those guys an opportunity. Thanks, guys.